The Vivo V series has been the brand staple for mid-range smartphones. Not only are they quite affordable, but they offer a great balance of performance, styling, and battery life. I mean, just take a look at the V30 series we tried earlier this year. With the V30 series, Vivo collaborated with Zeiss to improve the cameras even further, allowing users to capture some amazing photos and videos. By the way, if you haven't, you can check out our reviews here and here. But now, a new model joins the Vivo V series lineup, the Vivo V40 5G. It's the successor to the popular V30 series, which we enjoyed using. And if you thought the Zeiss cameras on the V30 Pro were impressive, the ones on the new V40 5G are equally crazy. In fact, it's a bit similar to what you'd find on some flagship models. Mind you, that's on top of the larger battery and of course, the updated styling. So without further ado, I'm Osef from Yugatech and let's talk about our favorite features of the new Vivo V40 5G. If there's one thing we really loved about the Vivo V series, is that the cameras have always been impressive. Of course, given how capable the V30 series was, especially the V30 Pro, the V40 5G has big shoes to fill. Not surprisingly though, Vivo managed to live up to our expectations with the cameras on this phone. On the Vivo V40 5G, you'll find a dual rear camera system. I know what you're thinking. Didn't the Vivo V30 5G come out with a triple rear camera? But hear me out. In the V30 series, only the V30 Pro came with Zeiss tuned cameras. Now, the Zeiss cameras make their way onto the standard V40 5G. But moving on to the details, it consists of a 50 megapixel Zeiss OIS main camera that uses a 1 in 1.56 inch Samsung ISSL GNJ sensor with OIS and a 50 megapixel Zeiss ultra wide camera. With that, you have most of the basics covered, especially if you want to take portraits, landscapes, or even group photos. With Zeiss multifocal portrait, you even have various focal lengths to shoot from shooting in portrait mode. But it's not just the focal lens that you can adjust in portrait mode. Even the aperture can be set to f0.95, but personally, I leave it at either f2.8 or f1.4 to get some sharp images and not everything's just blurred. And at the same time, you can even choose the kind of bokeh you want in the images. And in terms of output, the jump in quality from its predecessor is very obvious. You get sharper images and even more vivid colors, especially with Zeiss processing turned on. There's decent contrast in the photos, but they still look natural. You even get new Zeiss style portraits to work with when you're shooting in portrait mode and depending on which one you choose you get different bokeh characteristics and color grading. This allows you to pick which one matches the style you're going for or the vibe of your Instagram feed. No need to edit, just upload the images straight to your feed or even your IG story. With the larger sensor and the main shooter, you can also capture better low light or night images. There's a lot less noise and grain, and there's more detail that is retained in the images. Together with OIS, it helps users take handheld low light images a lot more easily. Of course, if it's too dark, you still have aura light at your fingertips. It's a lot brighter than before, and not to mention smarter with the help of AI. Vivo says the V40 now uses AI 3D studio lighting for aura light to help brighten up low light portraits naturally. Instead of filling the entire image, you only get lighting on shadowed areas of the face, giving you a more better portrait photo overall. But while 50 megapixel ultra wide is great, what if you want to take selfies and not in the Gen Z style? Well, you have a 50 megapixel front camera with a 92 degree field of vision and an F2.0 aperture. This ensures everyone in your selfie will be seen even if you zoom in. For solo selfies, you even have AI facial contouring technology to make you look even better when you're not looking your best in that day. If the photos we flashed on screen didn't impress you, check out this montage to see what kind of images we were able to take using the Vivo V40 5G. But of course, you won't just be taking photos on the Vivo V40 5G. If you want to take videos, you can capture footage up a maximum 4K at 30 FPS from the both the front and rear cameras. Of course, with the rear, you have OS to help stabilize your footage. And even at 4K, you still have standard stabilization. You also have Zeiss Cinematic Bokeh to play with, giving your footage a more stunning look and feel. And as the name implies, you also get a nice bokeh effect. 
perfect if you're capturing portrait video or just want some cinematic b-rolls. There's even 2.39 by 1 aspect ratio you can work with for a unique cinematic look. There's even Zeiss Focus Transition to make focusing on subjects a lot easier. I mean, just check out this video montage we filmed entirely using the Vivo V4 5G to give you an idea of just how capable the camera of this phone is. If there's one thing that really impressed us with the Vivo V30 series, it's the long-lasting battery. On the V40 5G, Vivo upgraded the battery packs by fitting larger 5,500 mAh units. However, this isn't your run-of-the-mill lithium-ion battery pack. Instead, it uses Vivo's Blue Bolt battery made out of silicon carbon. As a result, you have a larger capacity in a slim package. Not to mention, it's still very power efficient. Using PCMark's Work 3.0 battery test, we achieve a result of 19 hours and 58 minutes, which is an incredible score. For reference, this test was done in airplane mode, zero volume, and 50% brightness. So while we firmly believe here at Yugatech that battery life is user dependent, you definitely won't find yourself looking for an outlet or a power bank with the Vivo V4 5G. But when you do need to recharge this phone eventually, it doesn't take too long to recharge. It comes with 80 watt flash charge, fast charging to ensure you're always ready on the go. With all of the content you're bound to take using the Vivo V4 5G, you want to be able to see it clearly, right? Just to review your content. Well, thankfully, the Vivo V4 5G features a 6.78 inch curved AMOLED 1.5K ultra clear sunlight display. You also like the thin, almost borderless design since it allows you to be a lot more immersed with the phone. And as the name suggests, it's great for outdoors and even in bright sunlight since it has a maximum peak brightness of 4,500 nits. This ensures you can capture content without any issues, review photos and videos easily. On top of that, it is also SGS certified for blue light, low light flicker and the entire works. On top of that, you also have a 120Hz refresh rate, giving you smooth animation whether you're going through the menus, browsing the net, watching your favorite series, or just reviewing all of the content you've been able to capture on this phone. Not to mention, you now have a dual steer speaker setup, which is a first for the Vivo V series lineup. This feature is something we've been waiting for Vivo to add to V series since the V27 was released, and now you finally have stereo speakers on the V40. But going back to refresh rates, of course, it's the gamers who will enjoy the 120Hz refresh rate the most. With a Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chipset under the hood and up to 12GB of RAM, you can be sure this phone can handle almost anything you ask it to do. For storage, you can get up to 512GB of internal storage for all the apps you'll be installing, together with the photos and videos you'll be capturing. But of course, we have to talk about the new styling of the Vivo V40 5G. If you like the styling of the V30 series, well, Vivo didn't drastically change the look and design on the V40. Users still get an ultra slim body that only measures 7.58 millimeters thick, making it easy to fit in your pockets. Of course, you still have the curved body to match the curved screen, making it quite ergonomic to hold. Aside from being stylish, it is very durable too. The display is protected by Scott Alpha Glass, making it quite tough from drops. Meanwhile, the chassis has been rigorously tested, including 500 simulated distortion tests and 10,000 plugging and unplugging tests. It also has an IP68 rating for dust and water resistance, meaning you can tough it out with this phone. But of course, do be careful, this is still a smartphone. The major design change would be the camera island. Instead of square housing as seen on the V30 series, it now features two rounded islands. It's called the Gemini ring design. Fivo says the styling change is inspired by the mysterious symmetry of the Gemini constellation you see in the night sky. The colors available on the V40 5G match the night theme too. Our unit is in the nebula purple colorway, which we think looks the best. However, there is also a stellar silver color if you want something a bit more sedate, and sun glow peach, which gives off a bit more pop. Overall, the Vivo V series has grown up and looks a lot better than before with the new V40 5G. This is a phone that you won't be disappointed to start with. You still get all of the features you've come to love on the V series like Aura Light, the nice cameras, package, it a capable chipset and a long-lasting battery. But now it gets Zeiss-tuned cameras, 
something that was previously available on the V30 Pro model only. Since this isn't the V40 Pro, you also don't have to worry about the price too much. Prices for the Vivo V45 G start at just 26,999 pesos for the 12 plus 256 GB variant, making it still affordable, while the 12 plus 512 GB variant retails for 29,999 pesos. For those interested, the Vivo V45 G will be available in concept stores and kiosks nationwide. The phone will also be available in Shopee Lazada and, of course, the official Vivo Philippines website. Pre orders will begin from September 17 to September 27, 2024. Customers who pre-order will be required to pay a 500 peso down payment but will also receive a 2,000 peso discount. They will also get a free pair of Vivo TWS 3E earbuds worth 1,999 pesos. But what do you think of the Vivo V45 G though? Would you cop? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, do drop a like and subscribe to watch more. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook, X, Instagram, TikTok, and of course, visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews, which includes our full review of the Vivo V40 5G, which should be out by the time this video is released. Once again, this has been Say, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya!